Wow, that's pretty. That one's pretty. That orange one. The go how about the gold one? That's what I meant. Orange is gold. Look at the bluegill. I see them. They want whatever they can get. They're keeping their distance. Yeah, they run right into each other. Mm-hmm. I'd say the pond's populated enough. <laughs> Feed them again. I didn't get a picture of you putting your fingers down there. Cool. I wanted to. Oh, look at that white one. Hey, the one that was biting me. The one that was biting me. <laughs> huh? <laughs> you can pet them. They're pets. Yeah, they're pets. I petted them. <laughs> Somebody might. Now, are those koi out there or just catfish? Oh man, look at his tail. What a beautiful it. tail. Different. I've never seen a catfish like that. I'm not even sure it is a catfish. It's got scales. Wow. It's not a catfish. It's got scales. Some kind of goofy looking fish. Invasive species. Pretty here. Look at that white one. He even ate a leaf. Look. Now he's put it back out. <laughs> What a big mouth. I would call him Big Mouth. Sure is pretty here. <clears throat> Whoops, almost fell. Mike says, look, I do. Even if I fall doing it. This is close to the neighborhood my great-grandmother, Clara Jeanette Fort Denton, lived when she was eight years old. It was called Spring Garden District, and we're trying to find Spring Garden Street right now. We're on Ninth Street and we're supposed to be turning left onto Spring Garden Street, which should be this next area. When she lived here, it was in the 1800s. I doubt that there's any buildings left, but I'd like to see if there's any residential buildings left. And my, her father was a druggist here. There's definitely some old buildings here. I wonder if any of them was where he had his pharmacy. He had a pharmacy here. His name was Maloney, or I'm sorry, Fort. He married Glovina Maloney. His father was John Maloney and he was in the Revolutionary War. The forts came from Belgium originally. When they came to the United States, they dropped the E on the last of their name and it was spelled F-O-R-T. Clara J. Denton has written over 20 volumes of children's books. She's written hundreds of newspaper articles, all in the late 1800s and early 1900s. This is how she supported herself after her father died, or her husband died. Okay.
Independence Hall where the Independence document was signed and this guard's duty is to make sure that everyone stays out of the street in front of the hall so they're not within throwing distance of a bomb I guess but nobody can get in the street there and here we have a guided tour that started and being a national park the guy wears national uniform They get to go into Independence Hall. Ooh, how nice. Oh, I missed the ringing of the bell at Independence Hall. Damn it.